Good evening and welcome to the 2020 Delaware Salute to Service from the Soda House at Hagley Museum. Though we had planned to be here together on April 28th, celebrating local hometown heroes who are multiplying good in and around the state of Delaware, we thought it fitting to open our first virtual awards ceremony here with you tonight. And it is our sincere hope that next year we can all be together again. We'd like to begin by thanking the co-chairs of tonight's event, Governor John and Tracy Carney, philanthropist Tatiana Copeland, and the editor of Delaware Online and the News Journal, Mike Feely. Nikki and I would also like to thank all of our community partners who support the work we do throughout the year. We can't do what we do without their collective spirit. We appreciate you and thank you all. Good evening. I'm Jack Markell, and I'm here to present the award for outstanding service by a company or organization. Multiplying Goods Mantra, the power of service to others, exudes the spirit of Delaware. We are a small state driven by community service and neighbors helping neighbors. Tonight's finalists ingrained that spirit in their culture. Each have shown that they're making meaningful contributions to making our community better. The 2020 finalists for outstanding service by a company or organization are the Cameron D. Hamlin Foundation. In September of 2015, after years of grieving, fighting laws, and speaking out about the 2006 murder of Cameron D. Hamlin, the Hamlin family found their joy by uplifting the community while keeping their loved one's spirit alive, and they started the Cameron D. Hamlin Foundation. The foundation's mission is to decrease gun violence and to increase humanity by touching the minds and hearts of the youth and adults of Wilmington and by lending the parents a hand and keeping their children active. With the generous support of donors, they've helped many other grieving families to meet essential daily needs and work toward a brighter future by promoting education and community support. Their biggest accomplishment was to have lobbied for a bill in 2007 that would enforce stricter sanctions on the use of a firearm by a convicted felon. Today, the law is known as Cameron's Law. The second organization nominated is Gals That Give. Gals That Give was founded in September of 2013 by Katrina Jefferson, Stephanie Priest, and Kim Wilson. Their mission is to provide the opportunity for all women to be engaged philanthropically in real and meaningful ways that impact the community. The gals host dinner events eight times a year at all proceeds from the evening benefit a Kent County nonprofit organization who also attends and makes a presentation about their work during the evening. They average 250 people at their events and raise between five and $10,000 for the charity through ticket sales and an auction of 25 to 60 items donated by local people or organizations in the community. Some of the beneficiaries have included Make-A-Wish Delaware, Code Purple, Kent County, and the Bo Biden Foundation, to name a few. They raised over $317,000 since their inception. The third nominee is Nerded Foundation. The Nerded Foundation was established by Marquivis Gideon as the philanthropic arm of his company, Nerd It Now. The foundation believes in empowering underserved communities and that donating computers is a step toward gaining the, the tools necessary to study in school, to apply to a job or college, or simply connect with long lost relatives. In middle school, a teacher allowed Marquevis to take an old computer home so he could experiment with the repairs. That day changed his life forever. For every $100 raised, they donate one basic computer to a family in need. For every $225 raised, they donate an average speed computer to a family in need and for every $325 raised, a computer with great specs is donated to a family in need, a community center, or to a student getting ready for college. To date, they have 112 volunteers and donors and have donated over 400 computers in nine cities and four countries. Thank you to all the finalists for your commitment to making Delaware a better place to live, work, and play. And the Jefferson Award goes to the Cameron D. Hamlin Foundation. Congratulations. Hello, everybody. My name is Vandrick Hamlin Sr. I am the CEO of the Cameron D. Hamlin Foundation. After years of grieving, fighting laws, 
and speaking out on gun violence. Our family found joy within lifting up the community by keeping my son's spirit alive. The Cameron D. Hamlin Foundation was founded September 2014 by our family because of the tragic death of my son, Cameron. Cameron was a beautiful person, kind, caring, and most of all, loved by everybody he came in contact with. The Cameron D. Hamlin Foundation hosted numerous back to school book bag drives, clothing drives, coat and hat drives, neighborhood cookouts, Christmas toy drive, and numerous scholarship awards. Last year's winner was Alexis Henderson, who also was a volunteer for the Cameron D. Hamlin Foundation, a student at Delaware State University who received her master's degree in social work. The Cameron D. Hamlin Foundation would like to thank you all at Multiplying Goods for this outstanding award and thank you for thinking of the Cameron D. Hamlin Foundation. Good evening. My name is Guy Marcosi, and on behalf of all of us at Duffield Associates, we are pleased to sponsor tonight's Delaware Salute to Service. I am here to award the winners of the LEAD 360 activation of last year's statewide winning project, Manabags. Manabags was a project that was started by three seniors at Newark Charter High School in 2019. Their goal was to provide comfort and care items to the homeless by creating bags filled with food, toiletries, socks, and other items of need. During an eight month period, and with the help of two interns, Kayla Jones from Delaware State University and Jillian Costa from the University of Delaware, the Delaware team was able to engage 18 activation partners in the project and had a collective impact of over $13,710 given to organizations and nonprofits here in the state of Delaware. Tonight, we celebrate the three groups who had the largest impact for this project. The top group, Bank of America, packed 230 mana bags. They have donated their mana bags to Sunday Breakfast Mission, Friendship House, and Ministry of Caring. Delaware 4-H packed 147 mana bags. They donated their mana bags to Code Purple, Kent, and Sussex. Early College High School SIA team packed 103 mana bags. They donated their mana bags to Home of the Brave, Code Purple Kent, and the Newark Empowerment Center. We want to thank all the activation partners for participating in this project and helping us to continue to multiply good in Delaware. Thank you for your time this evening and have a good night. My service is through the Inspiring Project, an organization that is aimed to help those who are battling mental illness, struggling with bullying, or suicidal thoughts. 
It is brought by people posting positive messages on both social media and in the real world to bring people smiles every day. I am impacted through my service work by being able to bring smiles to people who I don't even know from all over the world. I've been able to meet so many different people and hear so many different stories from people of all different backgrounds. And that itself has impacted me and shown me that anything is possible if you just keep being committed to your service. I serve others because I enjoy helping people. Ever since I was young, I've always enjoyed bringing people up when they were down and just being able to see them smile. Nothing is more rewarding than being able to see how much you've impacted somebody by doing the smallest gesture. It's always the smallest things that can have the biggest impact on somebody in their darkest hours. These blue hens are cruising at 547 miles per hour. <laughs> Who says chickens can't fly? This open enrollment, choose Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield Delaware. Over the years, I've had the pleasure of seeing and hearing so many inspiring stories about our youth from all across the country. But there's something truly special when these stories cover the state of Delaware. I love seeing our state's finest youth, the next generation who will lead our country, giving so much of themselves to change the world. It is my honor to present the three finalists for outstanding service by a young American. Our finalists are Maggie Boyd, Maggie founded Recycled Roses after seeing how many flowers are wasted after weddings, funerals, corporate events, and school events. She realized that the discarded flowers can make a big difference for a local senior in a nursing facility. Inspired by her visits to her grandmother, who also resides in a local nursing home, she decided to take action to extend the life of the flowers while impacting her community and reducing waste. Aman Singh. At a young age, Aman realized that hygiene can impact a person's ability to secure a job as well as affect their self-esteem. As the president of Global Youth Health, high school chapter, a nonprofit in Newark that aims to improve lives by training young people to take action and become leaders in their communities, he and some friends decided to take action and create a hygiene donation drive for the homeless and a backpack drive for young students in the community. Megan Chen. As a high school freshman, Megan began to learn about the food problems in her community directly from community members that live there. It's through that work and her work as a volunteer at a citywide community garden that furthered her interest in gardening, environmental science, and inspired her to start her own nonprofit, the Urban Garden Initiative. Her organization aims to empower and inspire youth to achieve urban sustainability through a gardening-based program. Megan has partnered with many local organizations and is additionally working on other urban program, ag programs. One of those is working with the Boys and Girls Club of Delaware and Newark Natural Foods in designing several six week programs that will make gardening and environmental education accessible to more students. And the Jefferson Award goes to Megan Chen. Megan, congratulations. Welcome to the 2020 Delaware Salute to Service. Hi everyone, my name is Megan Chen and I'm the Founder and Executive Director at the Urban Garden Initiative. We are an international 501c3 nonprofit organization that aims to inspire and empower youth to achieve urban sustainability through a gardening-based program. And currently we have 40 plus chapters all around the world, mainly led by youth within high schools and colleges, as well as community-led chapters that work on increasing environmental gardening, sustainability education, and also many different environmental problems that oftentimes urban communities have to deal with. Uh, one way that my work has really been able to impact people is actually this summer when we were able to build multiple new gardens within the city of Wilmington at Boys and Girls Clubs and schools uh, and just provide this fun new way for students in the city to be able to get outside and garden and also learn about these important skills to tackling problems such as food deserts and food sustainability. Um, one way that my work has been able to impact me and really affect me is I've just been able to connect with this incredible world of like-minded individuals that are all passionate about the same environmental issues and making this world just a greener, better, and safer place to live on. I have chosen to serve others because I love working with the community. I believe that problems such as climate change and all these other environmental issues that we're working on tackling are not going to solve themselves and it's up to us uh, to make that change and really make these things happen and I want to continue doing these things every single day.
Students in Action is an organization that's dedicated to helping their community. We do a lot of different service projects throughout the year, and we engage our school and community in these projects. We also give out Jefferson Awards to students that we believe have done an outstanding job in bettering their community. In addition to doing all of this, we also go to leadership conferences, such as the one at University of Delaware in the fall. At these conferences, we learn about leadership skills and how to better our leadership skills. Some leadership skills my team and I have developed while service on others includes empathy, innovative thinking, accountability, resolving conflicts, and being adaptive. In the process of planning our team day event, it was crucial to apply all of these skills to make sure that we threw a successful event. We had to empathize with the teens in our community to understand their needs and make sure that we were providing them with beneficial resources. It was important for us to make sure that we were thinking innovatively to show our community that we wanted to bring something new and different to the table for our peers. We set goals during our planning process and made sure that we held each other and ourselves accountable to what we said we were going to do. This helped to ensure that we were making progress towards our big day. Along the way, we faced obstacles and setbacks which caused us to alter some of our plans, but we all we always found ways to bounce back and resolve our conflicts, making sure that we were being inclusive of each other's thoughts and opinions. Being adaptive was probably one of the most important skills throughout this entire process. So many different ideas were being thrown out there for Teen Day and we wanted to be considerate of everyone's ideas. When I began my service efforts at the Charter School of Wilmington, I noticed the passion members of Jefferson Council had for helping children with cancer. Meeting the Be Positive Heroes, the children who battle cancer every day, filled with enormous amounts of joy and happiness for the Be Positive Foundation's support, has shown me directly how my contribution makes a difference in someone's life. By collaborating with the community, we have not only helped support the Be Positive Heroes and their families, but developed traits of compassion and benevolence. We need you. SIA Students in Action is a free program for all. As the world grows each day with problems, it requires attention from all those who want to make a change. This has been made possible thanks to our gracious sponsors and private donors. If you want to partake in our journey, follow these directions. Good evening, I'm Drew Fennell from Christiana Care and I'm happy to present our Jefferson Award this year to Christopher Moore. Chris served in AmeriCorps and since 2012, he's been an active member of the United Way Pride Council, advocating for the creation and sustainment of gay straight alliances in public middle and high schools across Delaware. He volunteers with The Village, a community of LGBTQ plus youth, adults and their allies dedicated to empowering and supporting members of all ages. And he serves on the Village Task Force, which is planning a community center for LGBTQ plus youth and adults. Chris was fortunate enough to be supported by his family, friends, and teachers when he came out as a teenager. And he's paid this forward by encouraging others to live authentically as he has. Congratulations, Chris. We're so proud of you and of the work you do. It's an honor to receive this Champions in Service Award for our advocacy for LGBTQ plus youth. I want to thank Multiplying Good for recognizing the value in that work and Christiana Care, especially my colleagues in the Office of Health Equity. But I don't do this work alone. I do this in partnership with many individuals across the state who work many hours to make things better for others. It's that commitment to marginalized youth, especially those who are queer or trans, that remains resolute. We're living in a time where this work, plus a firm focus on social justice without any shades of politics, is critical to our survival. I encourage each of you to use your platforms, your resources, your influences, and your connections to advocate for those who cannot advocate for themselves. And to any LGBTQ plus youth who've ever been told you're too gay, too weird, too different, too loud, or just too much, you are perfect just the way you are. WBOC is proud to be a local partner of the Jefferson Awards, which are presented every year to unrecognized citizens on Delmarva who provide extraordinary public service. 
This year, the Delmarva judges selected Jeff Benson Jr. to be the Delmarva 2020 Regional Jefferson Award winner, who represented WBOC at the National Jefferson Award Ceremony on September 24th. The Seaford, Delaware businessman takes time out every Wednesday to teach a group of young men life lessons. He recruited friends and colleagues in his Sussex County community for a group he calls the Gentleman's Club. It's all about leadership for young males, giving them a sense of purpose and allowing them to know they do have people who care about them. The Air Force veteran also launched a youth shareholder initiative with Wispas Bank, giving each student five shares of stock and planting the seeds to grow generational wealth. Jeff Benson serves on the Seaford School Board, local and state boards, participates in toy drives and holds forums for the community to have their voices heard. Congratulations, Jeff, and thank you for all you do for the young men and families here on the Eastern Shore. I would like to thank Kimberly Wiggins and WBOC, along with the Multiplying Good family, for this wonderful honor. I love giving back to my community and mentoring the youth because it brings me joy. We as leaders have an obligation to show them the ropes, help them navigate through pitfalls, and teach them how to live your future every day. Thank you. For nearly 200 years, WSFS Bank has served the needs of our customers and communities through ever-changing times. Over the years, we've seen firsthand your strength, your determination, your ability to withstand whatever may come. It's that strength that inspires us to do everything we can during this time to support our community's banking needs while you stay safe. At WISFIS, we stand for service today and every day. Hi, I'm Newcastle County Executive Matt Meyer. One of the privileges we have uniquely here in Newcastle County government as the Jefferson Awards champion is the opportunity to recognize outstanding service by our fantastic government employees. As a past National Jefferson Awards winner myself, I personally understand the significance of this award and I'm honored to represent all the people of Newcastle County here this evening to present the award to our 2020 Newcastle County government winner. Now, before I do that, I wanna recognize the other five winners that were awarded earlier this year at our virtual awards ceremony. These are fantastic county government employees. They are Trina May, Lorraine Williams, Sharonda Spencer, Terry Casson, and the senior roll call team of Tom Martin, Joe McCown, John McCormick, and Roberta Musser. Thank you, each of you, for all that you do to serve your community. And this year's 2020 Jefferson Award winner, who represented Newcastle County government at the National Jefferson Awards virtual, virtual ceremony last month is Grace Deal. Beginning at age 16, Grace found an unusual way to volunteer at 16, combining her love of children, her love of Christmas, and service in a holiday gift wrapping stand at a local mall benefiting UNICEF. That's children all over the world. Initially, it was as simple as volunteering to wrap gifts for a few four-hour shifts every December. But over the years, it has grown into leadership, a family commitment that encompasses the entire Christmas season. With Grace's continued commitment, the project continues to raise about $10,000 annually to benefit kids around the world through UNICEF. She mobilizes hundreds of volunteers that cover roughly 250 wrapping shifts. Volunteers come from honor society groups and local sports teams, college sororities, large employer groups, families, and even, of course, her own children are now involved in the effort. The organizing often leads to long nights and weekends working at the stand after a regular job, but she wouldn't have it any other way. You know, this, when it comes to the heart of it, is really a, what the Jefferson Awards is about and what our community is about. Individuals standing up, wanting to make a difference, and doing something about it. Congratulations to each and every one of you, and particularly, congratulations and thank you, Grace. Hi, my name is Grace Steele, and I live in Newcastle, Delaware. 
Every year during the Christmas season, I run a gift wrapping stand at the local shopping mall to benefit UNICEF. UNICEF works in more than 190 different countries and territories, putting children first. It's a humanitarian organization providing healthcare and immunizations, safe water, sanitation, nutrition, education, and emergency relief. Although we do not get to see the direct impact of the funds we raise, we do sometimes get to meet adults who have been touched by UNICEF during their own childhood. I have been approached while volunteering on many occasions by individuals who share stories about UNICEF interventions in their villages that have provided not only much needed medical care and food, but also hope. I am humbled by these stories. I love doing this volunteer work. It allows me to give back to humanity in a meaningful way. It also, for me, embodies the very spirit of the holidays to provide service to others. It has become embedded in the fabric of Christmas for myself and for my family. I work right through Christmas Eve wrapping gifts to share joy with others, and I find it enormously rewarding. I choose to serve others in order to share kindness, love, and compassion, which is the very essence of our humanity. In giving of ourselves, we can enrich the lives of others. Welcome to the 2020 Delaware Salute to Service. Hi everyone, I'm Zaria and I'm 14 years old. Hi everyone, I am Haley and I'm nine years old. And together we read bedtime stories to children all over the world. We love what we do. Yes, we go live every single night at 8 p.m. Eastern on social media. And we do it because we like to see smiles, like Z had said in the last thing. And we just love giving back. <laughs> we also do this because not all kids have the luxury to receive a bedtime story or get been, be read to at all. So we would like to do that to give back to our community. Because we believe reading is a luxury. Yes. And we also have collected over 6,000 books and we are shipping them off to Ghana, West Africa. Yes, that is so exciting, guys. We're giving it to the school who didn't have any books at all. And it just makes me feel warm and happy inside to know that I am giving back to everybody. Not just my community, like everybody in the world, basically. I'm an amazing person. <laughs> Hello, I'm Wayne Wagner Jr., President of Visionary Wealth Management. We're honored this year to participate in Multiplying Goods, Delaware Salute to Service. Thank you to each of the contestants. Our communities are a better place to live because of your ongoing investment. At Visionary Wealth Management, we're passionate about empowering individuals and families to build charitable lifestyles and legacies. If you're looking for a financial partner to help you use your wealth to multiply good in our community, give us a call. Let's start the conversation. Good evening, everyone. And um, I hope all of your families are healthy, safe, and well. The Multiplying Good Lead 360 Challenge is one of the largest youth service contests for youth ages five to 25. Lead 360 makes service easy to do, fun, and accessible by seeking outstanding youth service projects and replicating the best statewide. 
Each year, seven Delaware mayors honor and recognize youths from across the state for the work they do in their communities. Tonight, we recognize each of the mayor's top projects and the finalists for the statewide award. The winning project will be activated in Delaware throughout 2020. First is Enzo Vincent, Mayor Christensen's City of Dover winner. In his fourth year engaging his community to collect new pajamas, Enzo impacted over 3,500 Delaware children in need. Last year, he expanded Enzo's mission to Spread Hope Foundation by raising funds to donate nine beds to children who were previously sleeping on floors. The next nomination is Clover Knights 4-H Club, Mayor West, City of Georgetown's winners. The Clover Knights 4-H Club believes in the importance of giving back and engages in community service each month. And their featured project last year was fulfilling the Christmas gift wishes with Harrison House. They were able to benefit over 150 people and all 131 residents of Harrison House. This included interviewing each resident to hear their wish, shopping and delivering the presents back to Harrison House along with cards and caroling. Cape Henlopen High School Latin American Organization, Mayor Beckert, City of Lewis winner. With about 75 members and another 25 graduates who continue to support the club, Cape High's Latin American Student Association, LASSO, provides assistance to the school's newest Latino students with translating, after-school tutoring, helping with college and student aid applications, as well as providing acceptance and understanding for new students. In addition, LASSO helps in the community and holds fundraisers for important causes. Mayor Campbell's City of Milford winner, Create to Learn and to Lead 4-H Club. Throughout the year, Create to Learn and to Lead 4-H Club serve the community through a variety of events, including go bags for Code Purple, donations to the Milford Food Pantry, Operation Christmas Child, and holiday gift cards for Delaware veterans, to name a few. While helping their neighbors, the 4-Hers learn valuable life skills and experience the importance of giving time to their community. Sabin Lowe, Mayor Clifton's City of Newark winner. Sabin has completed multiple service projects with a common theme benefiting, benefiting the environment and raising his community's awareness of threats to the environment. Sabin's projects include bi-monthly stream and coastal cleanups and a school straw letter writing campaign. He's a volunteer with the Sierra Club and River Protector, and he also created a petition to prevent fracking by getting 100,000 signatures, just to list a little of his service work. Mayor Genshaw, City of Seaford winner, Seaford Middle School Builders Club. Students completed a variety of projects to benefit the Seaford community. They supported World Down Syndrome Down Day, made crafts and wreaths with the residents of Laughlin Nursing Home at Christmas and at Easter. They adopted a family to provide Christmas presents for four local children. The Builders Club also participated in Operation Support Our Troops for recently deployed Delaware Army National Guard troops. They collected hygiene items, food, and fun activities to send each on their way with letters and cards. Mayor Przicki, City of Wilmington winner, Delaware Youth Leadership Network. 19 students from the Delaware Youth Leadership Network, class of 2019, and six peer mentors designed, planned, and executed the Diamond Challenge local pitch event in Wilmington in February 2019. Organizing themselves into six teams, the Delaware Youth Leadership Network students volunteered over 700 hours organizing all aspects of the event, including recruiting judges, planning events, securing sponsorships, communication, and logistics. Congratulations to all of those nominees for your great recognition and great work uh, in our local communities. And the Jefferson Award goes to the Seaford Middle School Builders Club. 
Congratulations to the Seaford Builders Club, whose project, Stockings of Love, will be available for activation by any individual, school, organization, or company throughout the state of Delaware. Contact Nikki and or Michelle at Multiplying Good if you have an interest in activating this project. Congratulations again to the Seaford Middle School Builders Club and congratulations to all of our nominees. Hi, my name is Daphne Colbert and I'm the advisor for the Seaford Middle School Builders Club and this is my 2019-2020 officer team. We are here tonight to accept the award of the LEAD 360 on behalf of our Builders Club. We are excited to see the Stockings of Love launching that will take place throughout our state. Thank you for this opportunity. Good evening. I'm here to give the Outstanding Service by a High School Award. Students in Action, a youth initiative of the Multiplying Good, trains young leaders, helps them discover the issues they care about, and provides them with the tools they need for maximum measurable impact. Currently, there are 56 middle schools, high schools, and youth serving organizations in the state of Delaware participating in Students in Action. During the 2019 and 2020 school year, the schools and their youth groups tracked over 35,000 volunteer hours, which had a financial impact of over $968,000 to the community. At Multiplying Good Annual Public Service Pitch Day held in the spring, schools submitted a written narrative and made a virtual presentation before a panel of local judges demonstrating how they led, engaged, and impacted their schools and communities through public service. Through that competition process, the Jefferson Award for Outstanding Services by a high school went to the Newark Charter Junior Senior High School for their work to make an impact on child poverty. They hosted food drives and winter coat drives, but their main project was to collect books for the New Stubbs Early Education Center in the city of Wilmington. With a goal to collect 200 books, they exceeded that by collecting 350 
for the Stubbs Library, classrooms, and their dual generation center. They were able to impact more community members than they thought possible through all their efforts and events. Congratulations. Nationwide, 34% of children going into kindergarten lack the basic knowledge to learn how to read. This year, my SIA team at Newark Charter hosted a school-wide book drive in support of Stubbs Early Education Center in Wilmington, Delaware. The pre-K and kindergarten school was at a lack of resources after undergoing a district-wide consolidation. At first, we set a goal to raise 200 books and we were unable to meet it, so we contacted local libraries for support. By the new year, we raised over 350 books for the library, classrooms, and dual generation center at Stubbs, adding to 378 volunteer hours, 362 books donated, and over 400 lives impacted. Good evening. For nearly 50 years, multiplying good has lived the power of service to others. The power of creating positive change through helping others and recognizing the extraordinary. Now more than ever, innumerable acts of bravery, generosity, and kindness are giving us hope and bringing us together. In May, we started a campaign called One in a Million to celebrate every good act. From the essential workers, to the nurses and doctors, to the caregivers, to the millions of Americans who are waking up every day to lean in and help each other. Many Delawareans have been recognized and honored with this award. And tonight we would like to share a few of the winner's stories with you. Pastor James E. Parker from Newcastle is one in a million. Not even a pandemic could stop Pastor Parker from feeding families in need like he has done for the last seven years. When the Rose Hill Community Center shut down, Pastor Parker moved his food distribution to the parking lot at the Newcastle Route 9 Library. He provided over 11,000 boxes of food for families for 83 consecutive days, rain, wind, or shine. Harrison Barnes from Bridgeville is one in a million. Harrison's organization, Gear Up, has gone from an idea to an internationally recognized organization with the simple mission of getting kids on bikes. Having been diagnosed with autistic spectrum disorder, Harrison knows how much cycling has done for him, and he wanted to pass that on to other youth. Through a variety of initiatives, Harrison and Gear Up have been able to serve more than 5,000 kids around the world. Seaford Community of Hope from Seaford is one in a million. The Seaford Community of Hope is a project developed in partnership with the Casey Foundation, Children and Families First, and the Sussex County Health Coalition. The mission is to help children facing adversity on their journey to adulthood. During the COVID-19 pandemic, this group was able to work together and stepped up in a big way to serve their community. They collected $2,000 worth of gift cards to donate to families in need, paid $8,500 worth of rent to residents struggling to make their monthly payment. They hosted a COVID-19 testing site for residents, served over 75,000 meals to district school students, and provided graduation yard signs and a drive-through graduation parade for every senior at the high school. The Food Bank of Delaware is one in a million. It has been a big year for the Food Bank of Delaware. At the end of their fiscal year, they gave away six million more pounds of food than in the past year, and here's why. In just seven weeks, they distributed over three million pounds of food. Two and a half million extra pounds of food were donated to them. 293 visits were made to the health pantry centers at the Newark and Milford locations. 19,000 weekend meal bags were distributed to children in need. 5,700 volunteer hours, 1,900 volunteers, and over 11,000 households were served at the six mass, mass distribution drive 
through events they hosted all throughout the state. These stories are just a few of the Delawareans who have been honored and celebrated for a One in a Million Award. Please visit our website at one in a million multipplyinggood.org to read more stories of Delaware winners. Before we close out our show this evening, I want to take a minute to extend our sincere gratitude to our sponsors for tonight's first virtual Delaware Salute to Service. Thank you for making this possible. Labware, Highmark Delaware, Wisfus Bank, Duffield Associates, Belfin, Lyons, and Schumann, Covenant Wealth Strategies, Dr. Patricia Curtin and Family, Farnan Law Firm, Rob and Linda Hara, United Healthcare, Wilmington University, Visionary Wealth Management. Thank you, good night, and keep multiplying good. All of us in Delaware want to thank Advantage Marketing for putting together the show tonight and for all their production expertise. We're, we're really honored to have the president, Dan Kiever, on our board and to share his time and talent with us. And we wouldn't have been able to have this show without him and his team. Thanks again for joining us and hope you enjoyed the show. 